Hello everyone. In this demo video, we will be discussing about pair trading watch list. Watch list is a tool where you can find your saved pairs. All the pairs you have saved in the feasibility test, test lab or from scanner. Moving towards the watch list, you will have the all the pairs saved in the tabular form. Let's look into the first pair that is TVS Motors and Tata Motors. TVS Motors has been indicated in the green which indicate the buy and Tata Motors has been indicated in the red which means sell in that pair. Buy is always indicated for the symbol A. Moving ahead to the pair, we will have the entry date and the exit date. Entry date was 6th of October and exit was 7th October. My entry price A, the stock I have bought and the exit price for the stock B, my price entry ratio and the price exit ratio. The ratio has been calculated as price of A divided by price of B, same as for the exit ratio. My entry standard deviation and the exit standard deviation for the pair. Now on the extreme right section, you will have the edit. From here, you can also edit the pair. You can also delete the pair. If you want to export the pair in the test lab or in the feasibility test, you can do as well. Lastly, you also have an option to create a pair in the watch list with the help of the create pair or you can also select this symbol. Clicking on the create pair, you will have all the detailed information regarding your input, symbol, look back period, standard deviation for the look back period, buy, standard deviation, sell standard deviation, trade point, point or reversal, then your target exit, whether you want to exit at mean or standard deviation, return percentage. Then you have the stop exit, you can click on it, then you can edit your buy standard deviation, sell standard deviation or if you want to exit at return or stop trading days. Further, you can also input additional filters for the entry condition, you can put conditions for correlation, co-integration and advanced co-integration, your look back period and the correlation. And for the exit, you can also choose from correlation, co-integration and advanced co-integration, selecting your look back period and the value. But always remember, if you are taking correlation in the entry condition, then you should always take correlation in the exit condition. If you are taking co-integration in the entry conditions, then you have to take co-integration in your exit condition as well. Thank you.